Well, hello there. If you're confused, I'm still continuing my infestation on the city. So yeah, just don't mind me. Jellyfish can't swim in the night. Episode 3 just ended. And holy shit. Did you remember at episode 1 when I said, just because Studio Doga Kobo is doing this means it's gonna be a banger? Well, yeah, I was fucking correct. Yep, episode 3 is my favorite episode so far for very obvious reasons. And that doesn't mean episode 1 and 2 are bad. It just means episode 3 is a 9.5 and episode 1 and 2 are a 9.3. And this time we have my favorite topic. Depression. <laughs> I had a PhD in being depressed. So I can safely say I can qualify on <laughs> judging this aspect of the anime. And I'm gonna say they did a good job. At it. I have yet to see trouble sleeping at night, but I think I'm not gonna see it because the problem already got resolved. And of course, this episode features like one of my favorite things in the world. Did you say VTubing? Well, you're wrong because I was referring to a fucking liar. And I'm not saying it in a bad way, by the way. That is a white lie. Did she have to do it? Uh, no. Do I think it's cool that she did it? <laughs> yeah. And of course, if you're here, I'm assuming you already watched the episode. So I'm not gonna even try to explain all of this. I think the way they depicted this girl's way of handling anger and depression really well, there are people who feel satisfaction by throwing their money on games and feel power by defeating others in games this girl is the definition of pay to win except there are like emotional damage along with it and yeah i think it's safe to say this is currently my favorite character and i'm definitely not saying this because this girl really really reminds me of sango from pokemon definitely i'm really waiting for episode 4 and now that we have a collective of four characters i think we have formed our main group and episode 4 is gonna move the story forward as a group so i'm really looking forward to that and yeah this season this season is delivering when it comes to great unique anime. I'm really happy for this season. And yep, that's about it.